Veronica Johnston had all the nerves and excitement of a first time mum. We did a, a pregnancy announcement, like little photo shoot, smiling, and everything was really good. And then at about 17 and a half weeks, I was at work and yeah, I rang my doctor and I just lost a lot of blood. Clinging to hope for eight days in hospital, Veronica was losing too much amniotic fluid and was told she would have to deliver her little girl at 19 weeks gestation. Too early to survive. In this like, day of modern medicine that there's nothing they can do to know that your waters are broken and that they can sort of stop that and heal that when the baby's growing fine just floored me. Last February, the single mum gave birth to Eden Rose, weighing just 240 grams. There still is a lot of beauty in that moment and you still do look down on your baby with, with that pride. She was precious and beautiful and I made the most of every second. More than 26,000 Australian babies are born premature every year. Veronica is holding a masquerade ball at the MCG on February 29 to raise awareness and funds for the Women and Infants Research Foundation, which is leading the way in preventing preterm birth. Preterm birth is the single greatest cause of death in young children in Australia and in fact across the world. WIRF ambassador and former test cricketer Mike Hussey's two youngest children were both born at 28 weeks, spending months in neonatal intensive care. When you come to hospital, you have a baby, you're meant to leave with your baby. We just didn't understand what was going on. It was really scary. Researchers say the rate of preterm births can be lowered by as much as 20% in major hospitals around Australia, as long as education programs and funding continues. In the future, when they do find a way to save babies like Eden, I don't want to be resentful that they didn't know that before she was born. Like, I want to say that I was a part of that. Jade Vincent, Nine News.